DizCom, and of course, HolisticLifestylesRadio.com. Oh, I forgot. This is the YouTube segment. You know, behind the speaker, nobody can see you. I'm sorry. I was over here doing something over here on the computer. I forgot all about the YouTube segment. This is the YouTube segment sponsored by DLMSuccess.USANA.com. That's DLMSuccess.USANA.com. And uh, welcome to all of you. We're talking about willingness to change here on the couch live. I am the street certified dope doctor, Louis Delgado. And, of course, we have Dr. Ken Hoffman. All right. So go on. Tell us uh, about willingness to change. Why? Uh, or why is it so important that you have to be willing to change? Why can't uh, you just give me a magic pill and my addiction goes away? Well, I mean, even if we can stop people from using and they don't have a willingness to change, um, you know, it's kind of like shining up an old car and not doing any engine work. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, you go in and turn the key and you're still not going anywhere on that trip you're taking. Right. And so, you know, again, if you're not willing to do, uh, you know, that willingness to change, uh, change your... Um, playgrounds and playmates and uh, change some of the internal uh, behaviors and Uh uh, some of the things that you've been doing Uh, you know it's a definition of insanity doing the uh, same things and expecting different results so if you're not willing to start changing uh, yourself and uh, uh, things about yourself then Mm -hmm. You're not going anywhere on your journey of recovery. Or, or for many of us, you change your playmates, but you end up with the same kind of playmates oh, yeah, somewhere you're, else. You're a magnet. I mean, I, I moved people. around all around this United States of America, and I found the same playmates. Well, they're, <laughs> yeah. they're the same playmates everywhere. <laughs> we know yeah. that. Yeah, you know, they're they're everywhere. And, and you know the good thing. And this, you know, let me caution something, or at least you know, enlighten you on at least one thing. If they're really good friends, like I had some really really good ones, and you separate for a while. You'll be all right, because in the long run, you're still good friends. I mean, I'm really, really, I still feel deeply for a lot of the people from back in those days. You know what I mean? And we're still really good friends. This is now we're all grown up, so now we can all, you know, we talk different, you know, but that that love is still there. We're just not hanging out every day, going out and doing the same things. You know what I'm saying? You could talk every five years and still feel like you just talked yesterday. You ever get that? That's true. I yeah. agree with that. That's a, it's it's an interesting dynamic. So so when you're saying, all right, I got to change my friends, but I like my friends. You know, I don't want to give up on them. But I'm not saying give up on them as friends. I mean, you can still hold them in your heart. It's just you can't hang out with them every day. You know, there's something you just got to go move forward and do some things different with your life if it's not working for you, and uh, you know, let it let that take you wherever you go. Remember, I mean, we get accustomed. I mean, when you go out there and get different habits that you uh, come up with. You meet new people. Yeah, most, normally most people realize there's a you know different meaning of friends. You yeah, know, using acquaintances, uh, what right. used to be called friends. Yeah, the, um, those weren't friends. weren't really their friends. No, you know they weren't there when they either you know gotten gotten real trouble or when they got into recovery. Yeah. Uh, those folks uh, disappeared pretty quickly. Right, and and you were you were given us some sort of definition like will willingness because when you say willingness, there's a lot of people out there that says oh you know I got strong willpower. You know, and then you hear people in meetings say God's will. Then you hear some people say self-will. So, what does all that mean? Well, God's will is pretty evident. You know, that's the that's the will that I think. So that one needs no explanation. Right. (laughs) (laughs) Gotcha. You know, self-will. I think that has very little to do with it because you know, if people could outwill themselves in addiction, Mm -hmm. you know, they'd stop using, and that would be it. You know, this is a chronic brain disease, and. you know, people can't just stop on a dime. That's right. In most cases. Most cases. Right. And, and this is what I said. This is what I tell people about willpower. I said, you know, you want to know willpower? Willpower is when an addict or alcoholic wants to get high or drunk, and no matter what is in their way, they do it. Because <laughs> that's where your willpower is. You know, addicts and alcoholics have the strongest willpower on earth because you cannot stop them. Willpower is very similar to stubbornness in right. my book. You know, it's like if you want to get high, it, I don't care. You could be broke as a joke with nothing in your pocket and the whole world crumbling down on you, and you will find a way to get high. You know, I think that for most people, a, uh, that willingness to change starts with a moment of clarity when they say, There you go. You know, I, I look at this, and I yeah. look where my life is going, and if I keep on using, mm-hmm. and if I keep on drinking, then, you know, I'm going to die. Yeah. You know, this is, this is coming to a de- dead end. Jails, institutions, or death. And, and, and when death means something. Right. Because that's right. Yeah, I mean, there was many times where you could be willing to die, and it's like, who whatever. cares? Yeah, who cares? Death is 
nothing but a thing. You know, everybody dies. Pretty, pretty <laughs> That's when you say that. Yeah. Everybody dies somehow. <laughs> you know, this is the way I'm gonna go out. <laughs> Usually, there's an aha moment when yeah, people become willing to change. Yeah, and really yeah. say, okay, the fear of where I've been and what I've been doing is less than the fear of going forward into recovery. Yeah. And yeah. That's, that's a willingness to change. Exactly. That's usually when it happens. Yeah. And when you really, really want to do this, you do it. Let me tell you something. That aha moment is genius. It's it's just something about it. You never forget it. You know, there's all the details around that moment are so unforgettable. It's that powerful of a thing. But simply having it is not going to complete the journey for you you have to feed it on a regular basis that's why you hear people say daily program you hear tons of people with really good recovery talk about a daily program why because you have to feed it to keep that willingness to continue changing because change is not just an event that you do it one time and boom you've changed no the aha moment's just the start and then you have to live it out that's right you know then you have to be willing to do the work to live it out yeah and it is work you know, recovery's not for sissies. Yeah. Ooh. Wow. It's going to be my quote for the day. That's going to be his quote for the day. That's right. Great. No emails to me because right. I'm, I'm not calling anybody no names. <laughs> <laughs> but, but I like it. It sounds like, you know, in other words, it's not for you punks out there. You know, recovery's not for the punks. It's for <laughs> That'll be the Yahoo tagline. That's right. This is the, let's call it that better because, this is the, you know, we can't say that other word anymore, I don't think. It's not for punks. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you for joining us here on this YouTube segment of The Couch Live. Remember to follow us on Twitter. Follow us on Facebook. Just look up The Dope Doctor, uh, thedopedoctor.com. Uh, of course, rock100diz.com. Thanks to them. Thanks to Holistic Lifestyles Radio. And, of course, thanks to you, the people who watch and view and all that stuff. And, of course, dlmsuccess.usana.com, our sponsor. All right. We'll be back on The, on the Couch Live right after this.